during some of the conversations we've recently been having about source control, the fun of source control, uh, some conversations have come up about, I don't think people quite understand both the process and how simple it is to work on these different branches and then push to the store and what kind of how most game devs do it. I'm gonna make a simplified version of this. I'm not gonna have a dedicated server or anything else on this. But so typically how this works is uh, you have a branch of your source control. We call it working and it's where everybody's working. It's where the artists are working, the um, engineers are working, the designers are working, everybody's working in it. It's very messy, it's often broken or it has things that are broken in it. I like to be able to do a daily play test. So, you know, not to be that broken. But it's got definitely test stuff and unfinished stuff in there. But that's where everybody's working. And we like to play test every day or every other day. Um, and so to do that, you've got to be working in there and you have to have some discipline. Now, everybody on their own computers has their personal where they are and what they are. And they may have that totally broken. And they're just not checking that in until it's some level of done. So they check that in. We have this working branch. And then we're going to say, hey, next Friday, we're going to update. We're going to push our builds to, let's say, Xbox and, and Steam. Okay, so what we're gonna do then is take what we want in that update. And sometimes we just take, like if you're gonna go ship the game to 1.0, you're gonna take everything from working because working's gonna be done and you're gonna move it into what we call staging branch. And that's the next branch. Um, but often it's not because you have artists still working or designers still working on what the next update's gonna be or whatever. And so they're still working and you wanna just selectively move stuff over into staging. And so your staging branch then becomes uh, what you're hopefully gonna be your candidate um, for the next branch. The next branch is live. Think about it as working, staging, and then live. Um, and live should replicate what's actually being played by people right now. So that way, if there's a bug, you can actually go in and, and look, at, look at it exactly. But okay, so you're in staging. And in staging, occasionally you'll have artists be like, or anybody be like, not to pick on artists, uh, hey, I, there's a safe check-in. I'm gonna do this check-in. I'm gonna, can you, can you integrate this into staging? There are no safe check-ins. I have had a material change uh, on a mesh that kind of ate the light up and that way that was being used to light the path that players were taking and then they got lost because they couldn't see that as well because of a small material change. It happens, like the stupidest thing happens. So you could be really disciplined and be like, no, no, no. Let's get this candidate up and running. But sometimes there are bugs and there are bugs you've got to fix. That's why you have this middle branch. And so what you'll do is you'll do fixes in the staging branch sometimes. And that's where it gets that's where it gets tricky. And that's why I like to have just one person in charge of this, normally an engineer. And they're saying, hey, if we just do this thing in staging, we got to remember to move it back down into the working branch. Otherwise, we're going to forget we did this fix. And next time we push the working branch up into staging, we're not going to have this fix, right? And so you want to coordinate that. But so you're playing in the staging branch then. And your staging branch is trying to replicate the world you're in. So... If you're in the working branch, you tend to be like local servers and a bunch of the dumb stuff that you're being kind of lazy because you want to have this quick iteration and not be worried about problems. Staging branch, you want to try to replicate how players are going to be playing it out in the wild because you want to make sure that if there's any dependencies of like item servers, achievements, dedicated servers, right? You want to have that all there working in the same kind of environment. And that's often hard to set up, but you want to kind of have that. And so then you have your live. So you so staging's done good, you're ready to go, and then you're gonna push it up to the live branch. Now the live branch is again, should be what's normally being played live, but here you're gonna have this little period where it's not. And you're gonna take that live branch and you're gonna push it to the stores. So you're gonna tell Xbox, hey, can you check this out? We'd like to ship this. Now in the old days, sometimes that would take two weeks. And so what would happen then though is the PC version would be like, well, we found a bunch of other bugs, let's fix these. Oh, we're gonna be out of sync with this Xbox version. Well, maybe Xbox will let us fix this really quick and move it. And it's like, it would get really, really, really messy. And it was also why you didn't see so much cross-platform play before because those two branches would get out of sync and you were kind of hurting the PC version for the Xbox version. That's not true anymore. And Xbox, um, for, like for us, they, they let us go in, a, in 24 hours, we're good to go. So we pushed that branch up uh, it's in live and then we push it to the stores and it's actually sitting on Steam as well because what we want to wait is for is Xbox to say, cool, ship it. And then we put both live at 10 a.m. or whatever. And then at that point, we're back to the live branch now replicates what's up and actually being played. The staging branch may need some stuff integrated back into the working branch because of any changes we made there. Or we'll just get back to working on the working branch and we'll go from there. And then if any bugs come up or any bugs get reported, in theory, we could test it in the work in the staging branch because that should be the same as the live branch for this moment. Um, if that makes sense, right? Because 
since we took that candidate from staging and pushed it up to live, they all are the same uh, for that brief period. But you kind of have to have these different branches because this is how you protect accidentally shipping a bug live and actually getting enough testing on, br on different branches. If you've noticed uh, for the Anacrusis, we often would say, hey, we're gonna do this big update. Can you guys play test this for us? And what we would actually do is take that staging build and push it to a special depot on Steam and it was called like, I don't know, like staging testing or whatever. And people would be able to play it and they would all be able to play that version of it with each other. And Microsoft had the same kind of system and we would push it there as well. And so that way we could do testing, but you were all testing on the staging branch, not the live branch because the live branch was, was live. So that's it. And so like when we talk about source control and some other stuff, I think people get these really complicated versions of what's happening, but literally it's just like, think about it like you have three versions of your source control but none of them are very complicated on their own. And there's only brief period where it gets complicated integrating between them because staging always is like, staging always is pushing all of staging to live and working is selectively pushing some stage to staging and sometimes all of it. Um, yes, does this process introduce bugs? Yes, and that is why I like to simplify it. That's why I like to be really strict about it and not allow updates once we say we're good to go. But it also is something that just takes a while. If you're wondering like, why isn't there a million updates when you have a team of any size, you get a bunch of different people working on it, you gotta coordinate with them, it's gonna take a week. That's normally about what it took us. And that's why we did something like 30 up, oh no, we did 40 updates in one year. And that just means like, it's every week we're flipping this. And then you kind of get in the rhythm of that and you, get really disciplined about that. And I think that's what we, we did is we got really disciplined about how we moved um, stuff up to staging and when that was ready and everybody knew their working thing. And it was a really clean, tight process, but it was also a really small team. And that's what helped. But once you really get into these hundreds of pe people team, you have to be really disciplined. And often I'll see people, they'll actually the working um, branch will get locked down as well. And they tell you just work locally, don't check anything in for a little bit. We're gonna figure this all out. It's not exciting, it's not thrilling, but just thought I'd kind of shed a little insight into kind of a process I don't think a lot of people have an understanding of.